Hi, in this video I will give an update on experimenting with boot into Linux kernel on my RISC-5 RV32 IMAC project on an FPGA platform. Previously I was able to have the tiny system to boot from a FAT32 formatted SD card and also boot in OpenSBI. I also added some debug capabilities to the system, but I will not use that for this experiment. The general strategy I have for this experiment is still have it boot to OpenSBI as previous update, but I will have a Linux kernel as the payload of OpenSBI. Furthermore, after Linux kernel is done executing, it will transfer the control to an embedded BusyBox on a RAM file system. I will not be doing anything with BusyBox right now but just an application for the kernel to transfer the control to at the completion of kernel code execution. On the hardware side, what I added were a pseudo UR interface as the new console. I called it pseudo UR because at one end it talked to RISC-V core with an UR interface. On the other end, it manipulates the CGA video module like the processor core did before. The other hardware item I added is a page table walker for virtual memory, and it also worked fine with the Linux kernel without problem. I also expanded the SDRAM size to 64 megabytes. For the software, what I needed were OpenSBI, Linux kernel, BusyBox, and a way to construct a RAM file system for BusyBox. Here is a quick look of the system diagram. I moved my work to DE2115 FPGA mostly right now. The following pages are more for my own documentation purpose. In addition to compiling BusyBox from source code, here is a procedure to build a RAM file system with BusyBox. What the Linux kernel will execute at the end is actually an init program linked from BusyBox. And during Linux kernel configuration, we specify where and what the RAM file system is. Then the RAM file system with BusyBox will be embedded as part of the kernel binary after kernel compilation. For the OpenSBI compilation, this is something we've done before, except now we specify the kernel binary as the payload. For my configuration, the final binary is around 7 megabytes. But in that 7 megabytes, there is about 3 and 3 quarters megabytes are empty. It has something to do with the OpenSBI and kernel payload should be 4 megabytes away. I just not load that part into SDRAM during SD card boot to save a little bit of runtime. On the device tree, this is something I'm experimenting on UR placement, some frequency settings, and even some SCSI device I don't have but possibly in kernel configuration and got loaded during kernel boot process. Now here's a quick demo. It's not a perfect Linux system setup right now, but something for me to keep working on. Okay, that's about the end of this demo and this update. Until my next update, thanks for watching.